Hey everyone, it's Mike, and we are back with uh, the next turn of Stonewall Sword, Valley Vengeance scenario. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build our cup, and we're going to pick our key chits. So for the CSA, this is going to be Rebel Yell, and for the Union, it's going to be Firefight. And with that picked out, then we are going to exclude two events for both sides. And then we are going to refill the cup. And now we're ready for the artillery phase. So the USA is up first, and this battery here is going to take aim 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over here and uh, 26 let's see there are nine firing over a unit and uh, no good so we'll mark them as fire uh, these fellows here will fire here so that's uh, five uh, 41 on the five it's a simple test uh, so they do take another deplete test, deplete results, so we'll roll. Um, and they are going to broken box three. So if you remember, if you watch the first one, you'll know that they'll be worth victory points if they're still on the broken track at the end of the scenario. And unfortunately, this... Ohioan unit is on an island by itself at this point. So they are unsupported. Um, okay. So this ba battery here will fire one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, um, so they will be firing at half power. So six. Um, shifted, uh, it's not going to work. Alright, now these guys here will fire at this Ohio unit here. Uh, 35 on the 4. Uh, close but no cigar. Alright, these guys will fire 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, over here. Um, nope. Uh, they will return fire. No. Nope. Lastly, we have McGilvery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So firing at the 2.42, no. Okay. So now we will go to the cup. So we'll save that. Hill. All right, so five. So we'll start with Thomas and we'll put him under maneuver orders. So one, two, three, four, Five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. We can all move up another one there. Okay. Confident. We'll hold on to that. Fog of War. Roll die on the Fog of War table. Six. So six is possible Confederate general casualty. Um, and that is Winder. That is very, that is very poor news. Winder only has a 50% chance of getting the full activation. Now he has a 16% chance of getting the full activation. So it's bad news for the Confederates. Uh, they pull their Rebel Yell chip. 
and let's step up and fire here. So we'll spend this right away. So we'll do defensive fire first. So 31. Um, no go. Uh, and then our rebel yell roll. Oh yes. Uh, that's a good result. Um, so seven. Shifted twice. We got a 61. Uh, so that is going to be a medium test. Uh, so 51 is uh, deplete and route one. And we can't stop there, so we have to go back another space. Uh, we will not advance because we don't want to. Um, we don't want to step into this kill hex. Okay, um, so let's see. So Union firefight. Okay. So firefight. Um, this one we'll take now. So we'll go Crawford against Garnett here. Four to six. All right. Um, so 46 on the five. That'll be a routine test, whatever the verbiage is. Routine, yeah. So I take a morale hit and route two. So then, our next chip is going to be, let's see, Rebel Firefight. So we'll save that one. Uh, hill. So six. Uh, it's kind of a bummer. But we'll burn Archer for this. Okay. Williams. Okay. So let's do defend. We'll go back one, two. And we'll go one, two, and we'll go one, we'll go one, and then we will rally. So we'll rally this unit. Um, actually, they're in wood, so they don't rally. So we'll roll for this unit. They don't rally, and then this. Uh, they do rally. Alright, so Winder. So let's do attack. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. Auger. Uh, let's burn green. Hill. Okay, so we got branch. So we'll go 
let's do attack orders. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's do defend orders. We'll move everyone to, and then we'll try to rally this unit. And they do rally. Rebel fatigue. All right. Let's do a firefight. Let's pick on the Wisconsin unit here. Okay. So their cohesion rating is one. And we rolled a 46 on the six to seven. It's going to be a medium test. So they deplete. And they will go to broken box two. And these will panic. So they suffer a morale hit. And route two. One, two. Rebel fatigue. Quick march. Auger. All right. So let's activate Prince. So we'll do attack orders. We'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four. We'll take him out of skirmish order. That's fine. Uh, now do we want to do a close combat? Probably not. So, mark that was activated, toss him back in. So now we have Banks, and we'll go with Winder, and that Winder is getting removed, so we have replacement Winder. Talia, Pharaoh, or Garnett. Limited activation. Well, let's go Talia, Pharaoh. Augur. Alright, Geary. Let's do attack orders. And actually, before we do that, we are going to play the command confusion shit. So we rolled a two, which means we're now under a maneuver order. Which sucks. Uh, basically, they can't do anything unless they want to retreat, which obviously they don't. So. That sucked. Uh, Yule, uh, Yule activates. So Yule will attack. We'll go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Do we want to do a close combat? No. 
I suppose not. Uh, Williams. Uh, limited activation for Gordon, which means they go nowhere. Winder. Limited activation for Garnett. Fortunes of War. Next shit is disregarded. So the Rebel Yell is disregarded. Uh, and then Command Confusion, which comes too little too late. Uh, so we'll chuck those back in. Uh, we do have our Banks chit to use. And we will activate Gordon's division under a t uh, attack order. So we'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Um, I guess we won't assault, we'll just kind of leave it there. Alright, so we'll move the turn marker, and we'll get the last of the Confederate reinforcements, and they'll get the Jackson shit. And uh, that is the end of the turn. So thank you for watching, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Bye.